FDA receives submissions from pharmaceutical companies to determine if the drugs are safe and effective in order to be marketed. Medical doctors have to look at submissions that are sometimes terabytes in size to make decisions on data quality and reviewability, as well as safety and efficacy. Imagine that this file contains the amount of information you can fit on a DVD. If you printed that out, that would be about 7 million pages of text. Reviewers get submissions that are 100 to 1,000 times this information. Not only do reviewers have to make sense of this information, but within 45 days of receipt, they have to determine if the submission will allow them to do the review. This is a big problem. These reviewers are physicians. They should be spending their time figuring out if the drug is safe and effective, not assessing whether the data quality and content will support the review. So that's where Jumpstart comes in. It's a service that provides reviewers a leg up, assessing quality, whether the content will support analyses, finding areas that may need more focus during the review, and where the critical data is. So how does the service work? Jumpstart runs a series of analyses on clinical trial data to better assess data composition, quality, analysis options, and tools for those analyses so reviewers better understand the data and have the information to conduct an effective evaluation. Jumpstart provides data fitness findings to reviewers within two weeks of the receipt of a new submission, giving reviewers time to clarify issues or make requests of the organizations developing the drug before proceeding in the review process. Jumpstart also provides data analyses that highlight the areas that may warrant further attention and review, loads data into tools, and automates common analyses. The result is, is that we have reviewers that are more efficient, and as a result of that efficiency, more effective because they have the tools, information, and time to start off their review prepared. Overall, this makes the team educated about informatics capabilities, gives them a global view of the submission, points out possible safety signals that may need their attention, and provides tools that allow the reviewers to do an effective drill down and follow up. So, back to the reviewers, because the point of technology is leveraging the expertise of the user. But Jumpstart doesn't just aim to change reviews one at a time. It's a change management tool to make the application of informatics a standard part of review. It's about reviewers being able to adapt technologies that improve their review and their work, whether they're tech savvy or not. Jumpstart lowers the bar for entry to use new review technology. That helps everyone. The Surface also has reviewers' experience value as opposed to being marketed value. We all have skepticism about the next big thing. With this process, reviewers can experience the value and the Office of Computational Science can learn how to improve our informatics capabilities by being right there along with the reviewers. As mentioned before, it gives experts in medicine or data the ability to focus on their area of expertise and not of the other. Not only does this help reviewers review better, but it allows for better and early communication with applicants, which helps industry and the FDA. But it's not really about FDA or industry. It's about public health. Are individuals getting safe drugs, effective drugs, given the right way? Because that's what we're about. Better data, better tools, better decisions, better health.